Hello, this is Jenny from Healing the Wounded Heart. We all have decisions to make in life, don't we? Sometimes these decisions can be majorly important ones like, do I marry this person? Or other decisions can be far less important. For example, this morning I was thinking to myself, I have the car for the day, so yippee, I can take myself off and go anywhere. But where do I go? I don't fancy going back to the gym because I only went there yesterday. And if I go and visit another town, well, they're the same boring old shops, aren't they? Of course, inconsequential decisions in the grand scheme of things are really quite trivial, aren't they? However, these more major decisions in life, like who shall I marry or where shall I live, which church shall I be part of, what career path shall I take, or what kind of friends do I want to allow into my life? Well, these kind of decisions need more prayerful consideration, don't they? Now, the Holy Spirit is so many things to us. And one of the things that he is to us is our guide. And as we seek him, he helps us to make those right decisions. And actually, even if we end up making an incorrect decision, he has a wonderful way of working things out for us. This reminds me of different jobs that I have tried over the years which have not been right for me at all, and even one or two Christian ministry paths too, which clearly haven't worked out right for me. Let's face it, it's not always easy, is it, to make the right choice? Well, hallelujah, even when we mess up, God has got our backs. Years ago, I was given this verse by my pastor at my water baptism service, and it so often still comes to mind, and it's taken from the Old Testament, Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21. Whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. I know what you're thinking. If only it was that easy. Well, at the end of the day, the Lord sees our hearts and that we really want to make those right decisions. And as he is our guide, ultimately, he will make sure that we are on track. So God bless you. Amen.